It's 5.12 a.m. Your phone vibrates before your alarm ever gets the chance to go off. Slack notifications, emails, an automated alert from your monitoring system. Your company has users spread across every time zone, which means somewhere, something is always happening. While you were asleep, millions of requests hit your servers, payment processor flagged suspicious activity in Asia, and a competitor quietly rolled out a feature that looks uncomfortably close to what your team has been building for months. You're not fully awake yet, but the day has already started without you. By the time you're up and staring at your laptop, it becomes obvious that your job isn't to build things anymore. You don't write code, design interfaces, or tweak database queries. Your real output is decisions. You decide what matters, what gets delayed, what gets killed entirely. One short conversation can redirect an entire team's next quarter. One rush decision can create technical debt that lives for years. You used to measure progress in commits and shipped features. Now you measure it in outcomes and consequences. You open the dashboards. Active users dipped slightly overnight. Nothing catastrophic, but enough to raise an eyebrow. Churn in one region is creeping up. Infrastructure costs are higher than forecasted, which means something somewhere isn't scaling the way it should. These numbers are cold and abstract, but you've learned to see through them. Every percentage point represents thousands of people and real money flowing in or out. This is how the company talks to you now, not with words, but with metrics. Later in the morning, you sit in on leadership meetings. The head of engineering explains why a key feature needs another six weeks. The product lead argues that delaying it will hurt momentum. You don't debate the code. You debate trade-offs, speed versus stability, short-term growth versus long-term reliability. You're surrounded by people who are smarter than you in their own domains, and your job is to synthesize their perspectives into a single direction everyone can follow. Push too hard, and you risk burnout and attrition. Push too softly, and the company drifts. Outside your walls, the market never sleeps. A vague announcement from a competitor sparks speculation online. Investors notice, journalists notice, suddenly your inbox fills with questions you didn't plan to answer today. You're reminded that building a tech company isn't just about shipping software. It's about narrative, timing, and perception. What people think you're building can matter almost as much as what you're actually building. In the background, there's always the quiet timer ticking down, months left before the math stops working. Every new hire shortens it, every missed target tightens the room during board meetings. You prepare slides not just to inform, but to reassure. Confidence buys you time, uncertainty costs you leverage. You don't think in years anymore. You think in burn rates and milestones. Every decision you make is a trade-off. You could ship faster if you cut a few corners. You could grow faster if you nudged users a little harder with questionable design choices. Nobody would complain today but you've learned that shortcuts compound. What looks like a small compromise now becomes a structural problem later, and by then, it's much harder to unwind. Despite the influence and the numbers on paper, the role is isolating. Conversations are rarely neutral. People want alignment, approval, funding, reassurance. Very few people tell you exactly what they think without filtering it first. You get good at reading between the lines, at noticing hesitation, at spotting problems before they're said out loud. Then comes a win. A launch goes well, the metrics move in the right direction the market responds. For a brief moment, things feel still, but it never lasts. Your phone buzzes again. Another alert. Another decision waiting to be made. Somewhere else in the world, the next workday has already begun. And you're still the one at the center of it, steering a company that never really stops moving. 